in today's game, watching my son go through the whole travel ball circuit, seeing some of these players, scouts, all of it. It is tough to get picked 1-1. Yeah. In the entire world, right? The country, right here. He was 1-1 in 2016. There's talent in there. It's just a matter of unlocking it. When was it going to come? Because at some point it was. And by the way, put up the first board, Devin. I don't think people truly realize 150 at bats. He's hitting 331. He's slugging 631. He's got a weighted runs created plus of 170. 100 being your average big leaguer. He's got 11 bombs and 157 ABs. And you've heard me say this before too. Oh, we're going to take the best 26 guys north with us when we break camp. No, you don't. A lot of that has to do with contracts, opt-outs, bottom line. He needed playing time, right? So the Angels take Brett Phillips to be their fourth outfielder. You got Renfro, you got Trout, Taylor Ward. They're going to steal all his at-bats. But what happens? Injuries always happen. You stay ready. He pushes himself in there, and now he is <clears throat> kind of an offensive force. So let's get into it because I want to take you through these 11 home runs because these are light tower shots. Dean Kramer, 95-2-2, turning it around. Nate Evaldi, 94, down in the zone, dead center. Run that back for me. Mr. Bayo, over in Boston, right here, 1-0 count, pause it. You want to talk about staying through a baseball? Run this, all over the heater. Middle cut, 94. Dead center into the trees. Tony Gonsolin, mm. little splitty, top of the zone, 1-0. Domingo Herman, 91, can't get in, 0-1. Doing special things at the plate. I mean, turning and burning on stuff. Pause this. Want to set the tone. 3-3, man on first, two outs against Luis Castillo. Luis Castillo's known Mickey Moniak. He probably doesn't even know his name. I'm going to overpower you with heaters. We had Sandy Alcantara come in here a year ago and say, Listen, I'm not even paying attention to who's in the box. I got big time stuff. I'm going to embarrass you. Watch what happens right here. In a big moment, there's 98 by you, top of the zone. He shakes his head. OK, 97 again. Maybe he throws something soft. Lock up, 97. Pause. At some point, Luis Castillo is going to throw me a slider or a changeup. Mm, he's shown me 397 plus heaters in a row. I punched him out twice earlier in the game. I'm going to embarrass him in this spot right here. Run it. Game changing swing. One two count. That ball's hit 420 feet. Boom. How about Zach Gallen? Take you through this at bat right here. Little curveball. He's all over. Change up. He's on it. Tries to go for the punch out in the dirt right here. Lock up heater. Now we got to go talk. We're going to go talk. Carson Kelly goes out to oh. the mound. They go backdoor breaking ball. He stays through it like Joey Votto and drives it out. Oppo. So he's doing a lot of great things. Pause this real quick. Subtle adjustments, right? He's had a couple really good hitting coaches. In Philly, he had Kevin Long. Now he's got Phil Plantier with the Angels. He talked about having tight hips. Tight hips. So what do a lot of guys want to do? They want to be able to get the hips moving. He's just kind of opened up a little bit. Right here, he's kind of static, staying tall. He's definitely gotten into his legs a lot more with the Angels and opened up. So run this. I mean, that ball leaves in 2021. Pause this. So he's always had pop. Like I said, you don't go 1-1. One, one. And what I love about what he does, can you run this back a little bit for the kids at home? He starts tall. We've talked about this before. If you're going to start tall and get into your crouch, now your head's got to stay on this plane now. You can't have your head going up and down or the baseball is going to go up and down. So once you're here and you go here, it's got to stay on this plane. And he does exactly that. Run it. A gorgeous swing right there. There he is in 21. Similar, but he's just gotten into his legs a little bit more. There he is in high school. I think what he's doing the best right now is using his lower half to create some serious power. 
So I got a little Steve Finley. Ooh. I got a little Kevin Kiermeyer. I got a little Jay Bruce. There's a lot to like in there. I don't unnecessarily know where he's going to end up. But man, he's got pop. Highest slug on four seam, two seam. Aaron Judge, Mickey Moniak right now. And highest average on non fastballs. Luisa Rice, Seeger, and Mickey Moniak. One more thing. Bring up the one board because if he's going to work on anything, this guy is hacking. So as he gets a little older, he's only 25 years old. Swing percentage, he's swinging all the time. He does not like to walk. Chase mm -hmm. percentage, fourth highest. Zone swing percentage, third highest. So he's going to have to learn to really control his zone if he's going to continue to rise, Robert, because they're going to start just spinning him to death in the dirt. But yeah, it's been an awesome story.